welcome my hustlers, welcome my makers, um, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I hope you also want to have fun with uh, your dinghy and don't know how to come to the river because you don't get a car. So yeah, you want to watch this video and you know how to build your own uh, trailer for a bicycle, for the motor of the boat and the boat itself. And uh, it's the first video, so it's a little bit more of a um, show of photos on the beginning. You can skip our next video where we will 3D print reels will be as a video. Now have fun and bye. Okay, let's see what we got here. As first, I found this hand truck and reels uh, on the trash. I found it two times, just showed once, but you will see later. As first I removed the plastic caps, removed the wheels and filled it up with sand that it don't crush too much while we forming. For that I give it a good hit with the hammer to make it straight again and then make it gay again. Uh, sorry, no front, uh, just a joke. Uh, I kiss your heart gay guys. Uh, what I did was banding it together to fit later uh, some new pipe. For that I uh, remove the wooden caps and uh, uh, try to fit in the new pipe. For better fit I drilled a big hole and uh, remove the wooden caps, remove the sand and shortened up the rear base uh, for the new truck you will see later. Um, I cleaned up the new pipe and cleaned up the whole truck for welding and yeah for that I also made a fixture that it uh, don't move while welding and yeah then I welded it together. Like you see it's not perfect on these parts. For example on this side um, there was a gap because uh, bending uh, for bending I got the other bending fixture too near by the bending so yeah to fix that I uh, put in a nail and welded it up that I can later sand it and now you see like uh, 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 before a good hit with the hammer will help uh, that the new hitch will fit to the truck and this bicycle hitch got no holes uh, so I made holes and now I sanded the whole truck and made some um, spacers for, for the hitch uh, you will see and I give it a good paint job and remove the paint from the wheels and paint them again. Yeah now uh, you see the new truck and the new wheels and yeah now it's time for the hitch and here you see uh, the spacers that uh, the pipe don't uh, crush too much and yeah a little plastic cap and now we are finished with the trailers. Like you see I uh, just showed you uh, one trailer build and uh, yeah but uh, that's two. One of them will uh, later uh, holding the motor and yeah now I made uh, the hitch fit to my bicycle the other part from the hitch and uh, made a little tube uh, with the rivet uh, I, I put it on and yeah uh, that's the whole setup together uh, but uh, we want to put something on the trailer so I need rubber rubber things and uh, yeah they was too tight so I made them a little bit larger that they fit to the pipes and uh, for the first test I put on uh, these uh, chairs and uh, we enjoyed uh, afternoon in Frankfurt and yeah but here we see what's the job from this thing uh, why we built it and yeah there we come to the new project the boat motor the boat motor got a broken arm so and broken handles like you see before so I built at first new handles and um, I did it with my meter saw and nothing special, sanding a little bit, yeah, and made them 
holding together with the rivet or rivet nut i don't know and um yeah for the arm i uh, cut some rest of carbon fiber i got laying around uh, mixed up some epoxy and yeah glued the arm together and uh, put some uh, epoxy with with the fibers on it and put it in the oven for a while and yeah corona is a hell of a drug now you don't want to breathe in the stuff so yeah that's why uh, how i did it and after a little bit of cleaning sanding and spraying i made something new between that's the rubber dishes for the arm and now you see everything together rubber dishes with the arm and the repaired arm holder and yeah so that's the whole setup uh, but we want also transport a boat so let's get back to the boat i bought a boat from ebay and uh, yeah it was completely damaged that's why i could afford it and <laughs> yeah so what we did was gluing back the transom but it wasn't just gluing back it was a lot of sanding and uh, getting away the old glue yeah the back plate was also looking like this and inner plate like this and like this and so yeah at first i made a new back plate for the transom um, i glued um, some aluminium uh, with wood and yeah after a little bit filing and making new holes it looked like this and uh, the inner part i just put in some thicken up epoxy and yeah uh, sanding for the inner thing from the transom which are holding the motor uh, i removed the paint and it was really heavy paint so uh, on some parts it wasn't there anymore but the other holes are pretty nice so i need a flame and i wax it with a, a heavy wax uh, normally you got for molds and it also works pretty fine for this kind of stuff uh, then i removed the glue from the transom and yeah from the boat it was pretty hard job so after cleaning it i mixed up some new glue and uh, glued at first the inner part and painted the inner part from the transom again and then i glued on the outer uh, uh, thing from the boat and the inflated part uh, so another problem was the name it was glued on before but with with really not good material uh, and I couldn't remove it completely, uh, wouldn't be worth it, so I measured up the distances and made new letters. <laughs> and uh, okay, that's also a little bit crazy, but yeah, okay. I made new letters and I cut it with my uh, self-made or self-modded uh, uh, laser cutter. It's an old uh, 3D printer. It can still can print. I will make a future video. If you also have an old printer or maybe also a new one, you want to see how you can uh, print and laser cut uh, with 10 watts. Uh, so you got more if you buy the new versions, which already got it. So I cut the letters and yeah, here's also a life hack, I would call it, cause uh, many maybe don't know it. You can't remove the glue from the backside from the letters, which also, uh, which coming on the front side if you glue it on and smearing over the whole letter. So to remove it with soap water, it's nearly not possible. To remove it with ethanol, also not possible. Uh, acetone is too heavy, it, it's uh, too aggressive and uh, olive oil worked perfectly to remove this uh, too much glue. And uh, now you see the whole boat uh, nearly finished but on the other side there was also a lot of scratches and it i think there wouldn't be going water through but i put some liquid uh, um, pvc on it to make it new okay not new but yeah it worked like it would be new and uh, what you here see is uh, i made a adapter to pump it up and uh, I don't want to b buy one, I thought I just make my own and it's a fast adapter, it works perfectly fine. 
what you here see is a pump you will see later in the video an explanation uh, why we got these kind of pumps and now um, uh, you will see a uh, first video where we tried the boat, the whole setup and look if it's working. But let's get a step back. Here you see us driving to the local river. I was driving with two friends, they helped me with the video and like you see you can easily go over small opticals, but better go straight, if not it's shaking a lot. Uh, but it worked really good and we are there. Welcome my hustlers, welcome my makers. Uh, now we got our trailers on the uh, river and uh, we will see if it's working. And um, yeah, they work quite fine. We are here, like you see, but uh, there are problems with it. Like it's shaking a lot while you uh, moving over. Um, if you don't uh, drive straight, it can bounce around like big uh, soccer balls, you know. And yeah, that's not cool, but it's working and that's the main thing. And yeah, so we are quite happy and um, now we will prepare to drive on the water. <laughs> okay. to a little hack and uh, we are talking about these things it's like uh, on a drill you have these ty uh, type of batteries and you can swip, uh, switch them and this is like a little blower it gives you a little blow job and yeah here we got a pump because you need the pump and uh, yeah here's the problem there is a in a um, meter, what's me measure, measuring, measuring <laughs> um, the uh, pressure, but it don't work on a big, big, huge uh, amount of air. On the little one underneath, it's working and shows here the numbers and stop automatically. But it don't work on a big thing. So I uh, made a T connection, my own uh, coupling for for the pressure meter and yeah so we will start and see how it's pumping after the pumping what takes about seven minutes we are preparing uh, for the last steps to come on the water and yeah thank you very much for watching this video uh, I hope you liked it and uh, next time we see us where I will print uh, dinghy wheels aka transom wheels with my 3d printer See you next time, subscribe, have fun, bye.